Okay, the next thing I'm going to share with you is how to use bags and pockets for hidden journaling. I'm going to go ahead and make my own bag. You can buy um, little bags or sometimes if you get embellishments or small little tags, sometimes they come in little bags that are perfect that slide right into the Project Life pages. So here I have a piece of vellum and I'm just going to trim it down so it will fit into my page protector. So it's, I'm trimming it at about two and three quarters by about seven inches. Um, instead of, I want to have just a little bit of overlap um, at the bottom, but not come all the way up so it's completely closed. So as you see, it, it overlaps and there's probably about an inch left at the top to give me a little bit of a pocket there. There are a couple different ways that you can finish this pocket. One way that I like to do, I like to take um, a little bit of washi since I like to use vellum, which is great because it's see-through and continues with that little bit of see-through element that the Project Life album has anyway. Um, I like to take just a little bit of washi and line the top just to show that it is a pocket right there. And I'm just going to tear off the edges. Kind of gives it just a little bit of color and makes it stand out a little bit more to show that it's a pocket rather than just another card that you slid into your Project Life, Life album. So now that you have it like that, um, you can grab your um, stapler or your tiny attacher. It's the Tim Holtz tiny attacher. And then you can just staple right up at the top, which is where your paper is going to come in and out. And then I also would staple down at the bottom just to make sure that whatever you add inside of the pocket won't come out or slide out the sides. It's going to be in the po page protector anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. You could also take washi tape and go around the edges to secure it. So you can use washi tape, and just tear off the end, and then you could just keep going around and do the other side. You could do all three sides or four sides, and then you can create your own pocket that way. I like to use my sewing machine, and I did the exact same thing, except I just went around really fast with my sewing machine and stitched the pocket down into place. I like the, the, the stitching adds a little bit of texture. I'm going to grab my tags here. These are just some of the tags that I pulled out of that Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party pack. Um, and this one is a plain white office tag. So you could add the tag and you could have it stick above the pocket like that if you um, didn't mind that. If you wanted a little more space, it had a little bit more texture and dimension to your Project of Life album. Here I'm just going to trim off the bottom edge and just line it up to about four inches so it should fit roughly right inside of that pocket there. So, and there you have a little tag inside of a bag that you could use for some extra journaling. I think that I'm going to grab my photo here. We went to the movies and we were the only ones in the movie theater and I wanted my kids thought that was hilarious that nobody else had been there. So I want to try to slide that photo into the pocket. It was a little, the photo was a little large, so I needed to trim off some of the edges just to make it slide right in that pocket. So I love that transparency that the vellum has with the bag. And then I think I'm going to switch it up and maybe use just a tag that has a little bit more color to it. I like the black and white photo with the black and white polka dot tag. I'm just going to take that tag and trim it down to roughly four inches so it will fit right inside of that bag without peeking out too much. There we go. So I have the tag and then I have the photo. I'm going to steal the little string from the office supply tag. I think that's the only reason I buy those office supply tags is to have that extra string to use on all of my other tags. I also have um, the two little ticket stubs from the movie that we went to, and I thought this would be really neat just to add into the bag. So in there I'll have the photo and the ticket stubs, and then on the back of the tag, I'm just going to write my journaling. I'm just going to speed it up here so you don't have to write and watch me slowly write my journaling on the back of the tag. 
but I'm just adding a couple of little notes and details about the day and the movie we went and saw and my kids' reactions to being the only ones in the theater. And I love that it's on the back of the tag, and I love that the pocket can hold the tickets and um, a little photo, too. It's just kind of like a little, little secret pocket when somebody's going through the album. So now I'm just going to add my photo and my tag and my movie tickets, everything right into that little bag. And there's another pocket of our Project Life album that is all finished and ready to be added directly into this bin. Okay, so let's clean up just a little bit, make a little bit more room on my desk area. 